Done any networking? Absolutely not. Um, but it's kind of nice, though, isn't it? So, 150 through the door. Not bad. Shame none of them seem to be digging into their pockets. With the Woodmill Studios complete, Melissa is back on track and enjoying it. So I'm shooting a, a self-portrait on a, in, a, in a set. I'm just trying to get as much colour in there as possible. I'm not really concerned with what kind of colours, whether they go together or not. In fact, I quite like that they don't go together very well. I come from traditional school, from a traditional, very traditional school uh, in Italy, preparatory school and for the arts and, uh, and uh, where I've painted. And I was good at painting and I was very good at drawing and, and, uh, and uh, I'm not doing that anymore. I don't... Uh, I don't think I'll never touch a canvas uh, again in my life, but at the moment it just doesn't feel relevant to my practice, so... Uh, this is my music. I make it, I compose it and I perform everything. Uh, no, 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 no. Voilà. This is an old piece uh, for guitar that I've made. Uh, I made uh, this, uh, this noise by stacking a microphone inside a very large uh, toilet paper roll. That's my voice. I'm a monster. <laughs> think of my work, when I make it, I don't think of the viewer ever. I like the fact of making something that belongs uniquely to my mind and then to showing it to other people so that they can look at it and, and decide what they want to make out of it. I don't, I don't want to, people to get a precise message. I think the colors are brilliant. They're good colors for camera. So I just need to put it on the ground. On the ground? Yeah. Rasheen is back to install the duplicate so of Ryan I, Gander's work. I think if he's like a good artist, he'd be interested in the whole, you know, scheming of the whole thing. Um, or if he, you know, if he's anyway kind of got a bit of thing about him, he'd be into, um, I don't know, just the, the audacity of it in itself is like, <laughs> is a bit grabbing. So hopefully he'll, you know, maybe it will become an actual collaboration of some nature or something. I don't know. But Next now I just need to photograph it in situ, in place, you know, in the gallery, being exhibited, being previewed before Gander even, like, you know, placed his order, because <coughs> I got there first. Because the other work was kind of just the, you know, the lead up to the work, so now I feel like I have a work. A new work as well, um, which is really exciting. Um, and you know, it's silly, it's massage in a gallery window. It feels like a, a, a more interesting approach to art making for me than slaving over something of something precious and, you know, 
you know, in one way you think, well, actually, this is a Ryan Gander work, and this thing is very fucking valuable. You know, so there's that as well. When you're looking at it, you do have, in a sense, something that is very marketably uh, valuable. I know it's certainly, like, an awful lot more than I sell mine for, so... Who knows how much this might fetch. <laughs> and it's just a massage sign. It's better than mine. Rock on, Roisin the Irish thief. Bermondsey's Woodmill Studios are officially open to celebrate an exhibition with all 56 of the artists here. The whole uh, Woodmill thing, it's a stroke of uh, really good luck. It, it, it does feel like it's the, um, the, the nucleus of, of something uh, very important and that will be remembered, I think, you know, give it 10 years and you could be looking back at a core group of artists who were working together in this building and uh, who went on to do really good things. The launch, I think, will be a moment when we really feel it, when we see people come and they get excited by it. Um, hopefully. Hopefully, unless three people turn up. It looks like our mums. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my mum's definitely coming. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Is your mum coming? Yeah. Good. The launch could take the artists one step closer to making a living from their art. We're not a commercial gallery, so the work won't be for sale as such, but if someone wants to buy the work, then that's fine. I think that uh, seeing it kind of curled up on the floor here makes me realize that this piece can be installed in several ways. It could be, it, it can be shown like this, it can be shown hanging. Um, and uh, at some point I'd like to, I'd like to float it. I mean, they, they are all polystyrene boys, so they can, they can float. But I mean, I'm the worst person to talk to about prices. I'd almost rather somebody else uh, kind of deal with that whole, that whole process. I, I can calculate out kind of cost, man hours, like w what this piece costs me to make, but then that means nothing. I mean, that means absolutely nothing. Pricing in art is so arbitrary that like, if I just say that, that, that this is worth 10,000 pounds for, <laughs> for some polystyrene buoys and rope, um, I don't know, is it worth that? Like, it, it could be worth 20,000 pounds. It could be, I mean, it, it, it's, it's all, it all depends on factors. And right now I'm just below kind of having any sort of, um, the kind of accolades that are required for you to start requesting more for your work. The, the, I feel like when I, when I sell the work, it goes for nothing compared to the kind of, um, the time that goes into it and the thinking and um, the kind of investment I put in it, I still feel that anybody who's bought my work so far has gotten a really good deal. I'm just sanding this uh, polyfiller, which is filling um, a sort of giant crack that was already um, already in the floor, and the piece of work is um, unpaid labour, um, which is obviously what I'm engaged in at the moment. 
and I'm trying to make it just look really kind of nice and professional, like a really, like a really well sealed crack. Um, and yeah, that's basically the piece of work. Um, we'll bring it up this side, All right. and then after I'm done, we'll just zoom. Yeah. yeah. Bit higher. Oh, I'm excited now. This, this feels, feels sexy. Dog. I'm going to draw a dog. Look. It's been two weeks since Roisin installed her Ryan Gander piece. And his nose. So I wrote to him in the email and a picture of, um, a picture of his work installed in the gallery. Yeah, and he didn't respond. I don't know whether to be like massively disappointed about it or not give a shit, um, or if it matters at all. It just ended in a kind of, a, yeah, in a kind of a grumpy silence. I don't think it negates any any potential like thought process that the work might do. Um, but I don't know how well he comes off with just not responding. I mean. Whatever, I mean, um, you know, as a gesture, it's funny, um, it's entertaining, and it's a little thought-provoking, pro and, um, you know, some, some kind of respondences you win and some you lose, <laughs> and that's fine. The woodmill opening will be the first time Melissa has exhibited any work since leaving Goldsmiths. Everybody which is involved in the woodmen will exhibit work. So I think there's about maybe 50. It's a celebration and it's a good way to get people to know the place. So of course I'll contribute. I don't feel very comfortable with uh, big group shows. Uh, I, I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, always difficult to see your work amongst uh, many other works, and then when it's 50 works, it's, uh, it's uh, very um, difficult. Seven months since graduation, the students have studios and are managing to get their work shown. I mean, it's good that they're using um, a gallery space because there's very few places for sort of uh, younger artists to show in in London. I mean, a lot of big ones. There's lots of small sort of shoppy places and stuff, but to have these big, big spaces is uh, it hasn't been like this for a while. So maybe it's the uh, you know the. Uh, benefit of the recession but real success for those who achieve it will be a much longer haul after graduation from goldsmiths I, I kind of thought that I would have uh, reached a low point by now but I haven't opportunities keep coming in this this period is it, it feels like a very high period for me and like, I don't know, I've, 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 I've had years and years of uh, kind of shut doors and <laughs> locked with like five deadbolts, you know, like now that a few, few of those doors are just kind of like ajar and I can peep in, it's like get a few fingers in there and, and pry the doors open. And if you don't, they'll slam right in your face again. I think I'm effectively an artist, and uh, <laughs> I think I, I hope I can call myself one now. And uh, 
I don't know, I'm a bit fed up of the emerging. Uh...